morning guys i'm doing another video here uh, about this plant it is the uh bubophyllum blume purchased it from Andes orchids on november 30th 2021 so it's been more than a year it this is the first time it bloomed for me this plant is from indonesia um watering moist uh temperature is intermediate to warm light is shaded um in the description in and this orchids website this plant is an easy to grow plant um, free flowering all throughout the year so when i purchased it i was like uh so it was i was new to basically growing orchids in the growth and i was expecting that it will flower soon enough but it did not um, took a year for me so i moved it from different places in my grow tent when i had my triangular grow tent when in this bigger grow tent it will, i place it in a, uh, a brighter spot i put it place it in a shaded spot i even uh, uh allowed it to go get through more get more humidity but uh i've read uh an article about this plant and it states that some bubble films even some orchids it takes them some time to uh to bloom uh especially they they require some sort of uh they, they require to mature a little bit more or grow to a certain mass and i think this plant has really reached that point where it has grown too much and i think it has enough energy to uh produce a flower i'll show you a picture of how this plant looked like when i received it i think it came in in a four inch pot at the time um but at, at that point when I got it, it took like a month and then it adapted really well and it started growing. Um, I transferred it in the six inch uh, mesh pot simply because in that old pot, it just kept growing out of the pot. My initial strategy here was to keep it, I, I left some room at the surface so I can keep it in the pot for it to grow. I don't want it growing outside of the pot. I've read in uh, I read some uh, like in the forums that uh, uh, some orchid growers lost some of their plants because the plant decided to grow out of the pot, which you can see here right now. Uh, and obviously um, that strategy of mine didn't work really well. Um, but I guess I have a lot, uh, I have a decent enough humidity growing this. That's why they're still doing good. Um, when I was actually moving or transferring this orchid in this pot, uh, I broke, uh, you know, uh, I, I broke one bulb and I actually move it here, which you can see I've got a pretty good growth and you and uh, this one also grew out of the mesh pot. So, so this is a pretty easy to grow orchid. Um, let me just. Uh, get my thermometer here so right now uh, i opened this uh, grow tent uh, so humidity went down so it's like 58 percent uh but when the misting when the misting uh starts its uh, cycle it will be around 70 to 80 percent even more in this area especially there's more plants around it and temperature is uh, 69 fahrenheit um but uh yeah so I'm so excited that it finally bloomed. Um, you know, the, the pictures are really nice when I was researching it, but I never thought that uh, it would look even better in person. Uh, the flower is kind of, for me, pretty big compared to, obviously I have a lot of uh, um, miniature orchids, so this is pretty big. And, and the uh, spike, um, let me just see if we can take a good look here. The spike uh, started from the base. And so the spike is like, um, let me see if I can move it. So I can show you guys, it's around like maybe eight to 10 inches long. So it's a really tall spike as you can see here. So my son just woke up. So it's a pretty tall spike and uh, yeah, really, really cool. I'm looking forward to for it to eventually uh, produce more blooms, it would be a really nice show. Um, so just a little bit more about how, you, how I take care of this plant. I only water this once a week. 
because again it's it's very humid I only use rainwater uh, so it doesn't really get dry here I do uh, so every other day I would miss the uh, other orchids that require uh, regular misting that they, they can't stay too dry so what I would do is just miss the top every uh, every other day um, especially in this area where there's growth outside of the pot and I grab some uh, sphagnum moss and I would uh, put it in between those roots which they like as you can see there are more roots growth down there and uh, the mixture of this um, of this uh, of of the substrate is basically the uh, uh, underneath are are uh, mostly um, lava rock so lava rock with a little bit of uh, of sphagnum moss and then the, like the top two two inches are mostly sphagnum moss and perlite um, the reason for lava rock is it's porous so it re it retains moisture but it also offers um, good drainage um, and then uh, it's some some it's sort of my uh, what I'm trying to do is also uh, as much as I can avoid to do too much repotting because if you use too much spag or mostly sphagnum moss or orchid bark eventually in a year or two that will break down but with lava rock um, I've seen a lot of growers and uh, I've been watching videos also of growers from the Philippines they're using mostly just lava rock on their plants um, of course uh, lava rock will dry faster compared to like sphagnum moss but again in my grow conditions I have a lot of humidity so I'm able to maintain that and the other thing is eventually the sphagnum moss here will break down and but with the mesh pot whatever debris they'll just uh, you know flow through the mesh pot uh, so when I water this once a week I really trench it with rainwater and so I will see some pieces of you know rotting uh, organic material just passing through uh, the drainage so um, so far I think uh, that has worked and uh, I don't see oh, a need to repot this plant uh, I did put some uh, uh, mosquito bits there because um, I'm having a little bit of not really an outbreak or compared to when I had this problem before it's like plague levels where in there's like a lot of fungus nuts in, uh, in our food in our, in our milk in, when we're eating breakfast and all that stuff but uh, every once in a while I would get the fungus nuts and I would just add more um, uh, mosquito bits uh, but now um, I'm, I'm seeing less of them again so the mosquito bits are working um, anyway back to the flower um, again it's, I, it's it's like pretty pretty long and it's really nice I'm not sure if um, the camera is getting uh, like the, the, the way it's a more of maroon color and the I, I'm not sure I just uh, this part I might call it like sepals because uh, it's not the usual like Cattleya or Vanda shaped flower so but you can see here it's really nice the center part is hairy there's some hairy areas there so yeah so just imagine if there's like two or three of this growing or blooming uh, that that would be a great show but uh, finally I'm having my bulbo films uh, start to bloom uh, the first one was my Lasho Carlo, which is again another easy to grow uh, Bulbophyllum according to uh, articles uh, about or literature about this plant. But I, again, I think as some other experienced growers notice, they need to go, grow to a certain mass, to a not certain number of bulbs, and until they're, I think, uh, I think they're mature enough and have enough energy to produce blooms. So this one has bloomed twice already for me, so that was is really cool. So this is a good sign um, that uh, I'm finally getting to the point that some of these plants are blooming for me. I mean, I've been I've had a lot of orchids blooming, but there are others that I was expecting to bloom way 
easier because of what I've researched about. But uh, I guess that's that's another good thing about this hobby. I mean, again, I'm learning. Uh, this is just like a year and a couple more months since I started this hobby. And um, I'm, at this point, I'm just, um, I'm not even buying new plants anymore. Um, maybe in next Black Friday, which will be in like nine months. Maybe that's when I'll start buying stuff again. Um, but I, I wanna focus more on you know, growing and maintaining these plants. I'm doing some repotting, um, but yeah. Again, uh, bulbo phylum. Again, some people say bulbo phylum, other sales say as bulbo phylum. Uh, but bulbo phylum is stuck on stuck on, on my head uh, for whatever reason. But uh, yeah, bulbo phylum blooming. Finally, finally bloom for me. But before we go, I want to show you guys uh, one of our more consistent blooming orchids. Uh, a miniature, it's the Felon, uh, no, Pluritalis ornata. So, it's really small. Here's my finger, here's the flower. And there you go. But it has really cool flowers. Uh, it's... Let's see if we can do it more of a zoom. Uh, let's see if we can focus. All right, sorry about that, but yeah, I'll show you a picture of uh, a really nice close-up of this orchid flower. So uh, yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, thank you for the subscriptions. Please hit like and subscribe, and uh, have a good one.